Mark for them. The Thunder on the right. Call in now. 877-381-3811. All right, I'll tell you what. Let me just go ahead and do this. I want to do this as properly as I know how. And let me preface this by saying it really doesn't matter who I support. It matters who you support. I'm not going to campaign for them. It's up to them to win or to lose. But I'm a voter. And um, I've sat back a long time and I've watched them. I've tried to analyze them in my own mind. And sometimes with you. And no matter what I say, I'm going to offend some of you because some of you are supporters of other candidates. I don't want you to be upset with me. I'm just telling you from my perspective who I would support, who I would vote for. Also, keep something in mind. I'm going to support the Republican nominee. I get attacked for this, too. Well, then you're, then you're going to help Romney because I'm not helping anybody. If Romney's the Republican nominee, yes, I will support him 100% against Obama. How the hell could you vote for Obama or sit it out for crying out loud? I explained before, we really need to fix the Republican Party. It needs to become a constitutional conservative party. Right now it is mush. It's embarrassing in some respects. But we need a force, an intellectual, substantive, constitutional force to take on the left in the Democrat Party. They've hijacked the Democrat Party. That's the vessel through which they operate now. And we need to have a party that reflects our principles and has the courage to fight. Now, if we can't get that this time, we still need to defeat Obama and then fix the Republican Party. Do I prefer it that way? No, but I'm not the king of the hill. I don't get to decide all these things. So those of you who support candidates other than the what I'm going to mention, don't be upset. I'm not going to do anything other than express my opinion. And you have valid views too. I don't want you to do anything because I say it. If the primary were being held today in my state, for me, it would come down to two people. For me, it would come down to two people. Michelle Bachman and Rick Santorum. I am fully aware that they're near the end of the pack. I get that. I'm not saying they're going to win. You're going to decide these things, not me. But what I'm looking for are the most consistent conservatives people that have really high level of character and people I would trust without thought in the Oval Office to do the right thing or at least to try to do the right thing for my principled position most of the time. And that's all you can hope for. 